So I'm back again, and uh, now that we're getting into spring, uh, my, my job is becoming busier, and I'm getting some more hours again. My business is starting to pick up. Uh, and one thing I've come to realize... This job would be great if it wasn't for the fucking customers. Well, not all customers. I mean, the majority of the customers I see are are great. And there's a, a lot of regular customers that have been coming to the store for years. And they have a relationship with some of my co-workers and, and they they uh like talk to each other or in this uh this is like about their lives and and uh, the way friends do <clears throat> but in there are just some uh, people coming to the store and uh, they just do some weird stuff and, and uh, like like uh, some customers uh, they'll come in to prepay for gas. And then, uh, I'll ask what pump are you on so I know which, uh, pump to put the money at. And then they'll say, I don't know, what pump am I, am I on? And I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know what car you drive or which car is, is yours. How would I know? And, and there'll also be some people who will come in and they'll say, oh, I forgot what pump number I'm at. And, 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 uh, at least they looked at the pump number before they came in. And then also when I'm out on the floor, uh, stocking the the shelves, or just just walking around the store, I'll I'll find r random products uh, just in places where they shouldn't be, just because people are too lazy to put uh, the items back where they can where they got them, and so then I'll have to put them back. And occasionally, I'll find empty packaging. Like, like one time I found a, a chapstick box on the shelf, and there's no chapstick in it. Like, someone opened up the, the box and took the chapstick out and didn't pay for it. And another time I found a six pack of beer with one beer missing. So it's just a five pack now. So I think someone just took one beer and just stole it. Stole one beer from the store. Bunch of savages in this town. <laughs> And then sometimes you get people who pay for their gas with checks. <laughs> uh, and it's not the people, it's just the process of paying with a check. Like, you have to uh, write their driver's license number on the check. And then you have to 
take the check and then put it through this little machine. It's like a little box with a U-shaped slot in it. And you put the, the check upright in it. And then the machine actually spins the check all the way around. And it's supposed to process it and give you a number, which then you write that number down on the check as well. But half the time the box, the little box machines don't work. So you uh, unplug it and then, then take the, another box check check machine from another register and see if that works. So it uh, it's just a difficult process. But fortunately uh I think next week we will no longer be accepting checks as payment. So that's that's actually one thing I don't have to worry about anymore. And one other thing that just happened to me at work today. Uh, this is after I went to work. And, uh, the rest of the video is before I went to work. That explains the lighting change and the, the t-shirt change. But uh, today, at work, uh, one customer uh, says to me, uh, you're all out of paper towels in the restroom. And they go back there and uh, uh, look at the paper towel dispenser and uh, it's completely full. Uh, it's got a new roll in it. Uh, the, the roll looks like uh, it was just put in there uh, not too long ago. So, uh, and this is actually the second time that's happened to me. Uh, uh, and another person said the same thing. You're on paper towels, and and no, we're not. It's, it's completely full. And and you can uh, see through the dispenser. Uh, it has the transparent front. It's a little dark. But you can still see the roll of paper towels, especially <coughs> when it's big, like like it was. So, so I don't know if they don't know how to use it, the paper towel dispenser. Like if they think it's automatic. Which is not, and they they're just waving their hand, and nothing's happening. Uh, I I don't know. <laughs> and one other thing today, my boss told me that the uh, toilet plunger in the bathroom is missing. Uh. It had been there, he said, for years, but today when he needed it, uh, it was gone, so he had to go out and buy a new one, so someone probably just took it. I don't know why, but the, that's really the only explanation, because None of the uh, none of the employees uh, move it. 
it just, it just remains in the bathroom. So, either someone took it or walked off by itself. <laughs> but, who would take a toilet plunger from a gas station? I, I used one. Yeah. What? And we also get some customers who bring their dogs into the store. Which, I guess, is no problem. Because uh, a lot of people have done it. And, and, and uh, no one said you can't do it. It's usually just like small dogs. They carry it. And sometimes in baskets. But. And, and that's fine with me, you know, I love dogs. There's this one guy who brought his, his big dog in, like, it, it was like a lab or a retriever, that, that size of a dog, and he didn't have a leash, so he was holding on to the dog by the collar and then he takes the dog and, and he goes to the restroom with the dog so they're both in the restroom and then and then he comes out and then he buys something from me while still holding on to the dog I don't know why he just didn't leave the dog in the car it was at night time, or, or in the evening, so it wasn't like the car was getting hot, so this is so weird. Jeez, you got a lot of nutcases in here. Oh, sir, I've seen things you can't imagine. But, but, like I said, this is just a small uh, number of customers, and almost all the customers are great and like there was this one guy who had a bunch of lottery winners and I cashed them for him and gave him his money and then a little bit later he came back in the store and says I, I gave him too much money so he, he gave me uh, some money back the excess amount, which, which was really honest. I think, I think I was like five or ten dollars over. So, so, like, if he hadn't come in, I would have been uh, short by, by a lot. Like, like, by more than an acceptable amount. Uh, on my register, and there was this other guy who came back to the store uh, with an empty battery case, I think it was, and said he, he accidentally left the store without paying for the batteries the day before, so he, he paid for the battery that I took yesterday, which, yeah, it's a lot better than just taking a one beer. Yeah, the, the, those are the customers I've dealt with, but that's the, my rants about people uh, doing stuff. I don't understand. I will never understand people. They're the worst. Yeah. Yeah. People. People are weird sometimes. So, uh, anyway, uh, until next video, see ya.